Praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, this just kind of came to me. Um, I know that the world has been going through some change, you know, as of the recent years, 2020, so forth, so on. Um, with what we know as disease and things on a um, germ level. Um, certain words you can't say on whatever. But you guys know what I mean. You're wearing a mask, so you know what I mean. Um, and knowing that we've gone and are going through those type of times, um, this word really hit me hard. I know, you know, and it's a really great show, but the show, The Last of Us, um, out of nowhere, the Lord really began dealing with me deep uh, in my spirit about the remnant <laughs> and the remnant of that remnant. And it's something that there's already been a separation. I think God allows certain things like that to bring about a unity, if you will, in certain things so we can come back around to what his plan and goal is. And I know that sounds crazy, but when you're coming from a divine mind, God is not worried. God is not like, what are they doing? God is not surprised, which I'm thankful for because he's not. He's God. So that series, The Last of Us, speaks volumes. Um, because of in that particular series, there is basically a worldwide um, disease that spreads and it spreads. Whew, that's powerful, too. It spreads from what was coming out of their wheat that makes breads. Okay. Another symbol for the word. Um, but how that word can be contaminated and that there is a breed of people, the last of us, that literally go into hiding or are in places that are not in the mass majority. If you notice the mass majority of the people in the last of us have the disease that is spreading really from mouth to mouth through those different pathogens. And I probably have the wrong word here, um, but tendrils mouth to mouth with that disease. And it's something how the words that we speak when they don't line up with God's word and they don't line up with his plan and they don't line up with his promise, we begin to spread a word that kills faith, it kills hope, and ultimately kills purpose, save for God being who he is and knowing what he knows. So I just really wanted to, to bring that out. Every now and then, God allows me to see certain things that pop up in the zeitgeist of the world that has already been brewing on, on the inside. And especially through my experience, I experienced a separation and a breakdown and a pulling away before the world did. I didn't know that that part was going to be prophetic, but I'm learning sometimes the more messed up and the more crazy it looks somewhere, God's in there writing a story that's going to bring about massive change, massive hope, and massive grace for the people that need him. This is a time where we need him. We don't need another star. We need the Lord. Period. God bless you.